Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Kings Bounty the Dark Side in Gallandrim. Yes, we were with the elves and we were searching for a poet that fight for us in the um, poetry slam, you could say, for the elven queen. And guess what? That guy is in our backpack. Yes, he is. It's this one here. Baron Gerard de Pondon. Listen, bugger, it's about the poetic tournament to be held in Gallandrim. I'd really like to take part in that tournament first. I'm certain that I win it. And second, I hope to get to know the Elven Queen better. How are you so certain of your victory? Elves are weak poets. Their work are constrained by canons to date back thousands of years, and they never step beyond them. All even poets are similar to each other. They only have rhymes like bell and mel, and the contents of all poems are the same. I'm going to borrow lines from the best human poets and mix them together to confess my untamed passion to the Elven Queen in Invid. Unrestrained images. The Queen won't be able to resist the power of art. I'm begging you to let me take part in the tournament to fulfill my ultimate dream. All right, but you're also going to find out the layout of the castle, castle utility tu tunnels, and let me know how I can get inside. I swear that everything will be done as best as possible. Agreed. I will learn about the castle guard's weak spot and you get the elven queen. That's the deal. Well, I think we need the elven queen, but let's let's give him a try. So, I'm bringing the Pondon, the great poet, to take part in the royal poetic tournament. Who is that poet? Judging by his name, he's not even an elf. He must prove his ability to write poem or I will let him through. Of course, he will prove his poetic talent here and now. The Baron clears his throat and reads in a sing-song. He sights with passion now and then. His heart flares up and sings again. You are his sweetheart, yes, it's true. Forever he's in love with you. Look at the god. Your poems are very unusual. I've never heard poems without the classical English mel-bell rhythm in even meter. I believe Her Majesty Queen Ilvan will enjoy listening to such curious verses. Please enter the castle, said poet. Good. I keep in touch through the bucket of rejected poem. All my reports will be hidden there. Wonderful. Now, talk to the informer. Who is the informer? Well, it's our man in the little thing here. Our innkeeper will tell us what's happening. I don't think that he will win. News about the poetry tournament. The tournament is very interesting. My cousin, who works as a junior cook at the Royal Castle, tells me the daily news. There is a new leader among the poets every day, and today it's quite unusual poet appeared. A human. Can you imagine that? It turns out that humans can write poems too. Who would have thought? This human has really taken the audience by storm. He never uses the classical rhymes like bell and mel, and the contents of his poems are so daring unusual that several elven poems have already left the tournament of their own accord. They say that the queen is absolutely charmed by him, which made the king jealously irritated. Very funny. Any fool knows that a th young 300-year-old woman elf couldn't be seriously interested in some human. He'd grow old before she knew it. I ah, thank you. Okay, find a suitable candidate. We need another candidate. He's nice, but he will be dead before anything happens. Oh, wait a minute. I think a little fight would not be bad. Werewolves! Oh, 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 this is not good. Okay, first of all, we need control. Oh, we don't have any. Okay. Those guys are extremely dangerous, I guess. Well, those are two. Hmm. Good work. So we have now enough rage, so let's do something with that. I want control of... Well, I could make it here. No matter who I take, he will be powerful. Nice. And then I want... This is 12,000 damage. 12,000... Then we make a copy of this one. That will do enormous damage to that guy and it will give us a suitable copy. Wonderful. 
Okay, we could fire on him or we could fire on him if we move one forward. Good, problem solved. I totally like problems that solve themselves. Good, good, good. And we have enough rage to do um, something special. Shield this one because I think they will fire on him first hand. Good work. You wait. You go forward and bite them. It's very important that they do not fire. That is the same reason I killed those guys. Please don't howl. I want a simple attack. Very nice. He does nothing. That's fine by me. And you could... F yes, the spiders. That's a fair fight. Okay, not optimal, but okay with me. We're looking for phantoms, of course, because we want to find more treasure chests. And guess what? We got one. Nice. And it's even a wanderer scroll. Okay, I want you out of the picture. Very nice. I want a Vulcan here to keep this guy occupied. You fight those. Very good. They will not live any longer, so that's not the problem. That will kill about a thousand thorn hunters. That's fine by me. Whoa, that killed the double the number. But fine by me. Okay, we're not summoning anyone for obvious reasons. But we're firing. 5,000 damage, that is not that much. Okay, you wait, you wait. Treasure chest! He will go for the volcano. And he will probably go here. No. Okay. And it's the copy, and that is just perfect. Okay, we kill these guys first, because they're bigger in numbers. We could go here and do extensive damage to that guy. So, um, we could necropack the entire team. Yeah, because we do not need the volcano anymore and we need, do not need these wolves anymore. Wait a minute. Yes, I want your attention. Okay, take him down. That is bad because that is an evil ploink. That evil ploink could become a problem. Okay. You wait. And you give yourself the ability to find more chests. Nothing! Then you go there and neutralize this. Oh, he didn't. Okay, um... You do nothing and you get the hell out of here. You wait, you wait. Treasure chest! Um, do nothing. Yeah, well, get it. Money, excellent. Let's rage that guy. And then we simply kill him. Hooray! Battle won, enemies destroyed. And not few of them, I would say. Not few of them, and we're close to another level, which is excellent. But we must focus on our mission. Okay, we buy all the crap they have, simply to have it. And 
now we need another participant for the tournament. He is not right, the human is not right because he is not living long enough. So we ask the real elf that is ready to support our cause and that is I think Belfit the Dark Elf. He would make an excellent king by the way. I think that's the idea. So come with me it's time to act. Yes it's time for us to move Bagheer. Who knows what lies ahead? A glorious triumphus or a horrible, horrible failure? All we can do is have faith in ourselves and rely on the darkness to help us. Well, it will help us. Be sure there, friend. Be sure there. That reminds me, what is with this Princess Lorelei's thingy? Castle, whatever. Halt, Orc. Entrance to the princess castle is forbidden. Only flowers and gifts are delivered to admirers. You may also send a note for flowers, but keep in mind that the parcel will be carefully examined so nothing forbidden or dangerous get through. I see. Do you read the notes too? Of course not, Orc. The note will be just as if it has spells of poison or has traces of magic, but no one has the right to read the princess's personal correspondence. That would be a great insult for her highness. I see. Have you served the princess for a long time? It's a personal question, but I will tell you. I have served the Princess of Gallantrum since the day she was born. I guard her peace every day. There is no one in the world who is more beautiful than Princess Lorelei. She would make a wonderful slave, by the way. Lorelei. I think there is an island in Germany that is called Lorelei. And he looks a little bit like a woman. I have interesting work. I hope you're also linked like this reply about the note, I'm starting to think that the conditions here are ideal for everyone dark and evil. By the way, we should check the loyalty aura of this bodyguard. His statements about the princess were suspiciously cordial. Be sure to ask him out about Lorelei, and don't forget to discuss the cracked sails. Turn to Ama Amarium. A Amarimon. I've heard rumors about cracked sails. Can you tell me more about them? The elves have a sign. Princess Lorelei is waiting for her beloved, and I don't think it's appropriate to joke about that subject. I, s I can see that you're loyal to your princess. I would give my life without hesitation. There is no, no one in the world who is more worthy of happiness and joy than Princess Lorelei. I'm very lucky that it was me who King Egon appointed to guard the newborn princess 73 years ago. Oh boy, she's an infant. Which tells us that elves are actually dumb asses because if she is 73 year years old and still not considered uh, fully sane or capable of making her own decisions, I think elves are dumb. There is nothing better than using all of your efforts and abilities to ensure that the fair Lorelei lives in peace. All right, I can dispute that. You know, Berger, I have reason to believe that Amarion is a champion of loyalty since he is so faithful to his princess. His aura rays show a phenomenal loyalty level. We need to test him in an emergency situation. Then it will be easier for us to make a decision. Kidnap the princess and we'll take a look at the, our elf's aura. Kidnap the princess? Well, he doesn't check what's written in the notes. So you can lure the princess wherever you wish. The bottom line is to spark your interest. What do they say about the cracked sails? Do I really have to spell everything out for you? I'm an orc. Of course you have to spell everything out. Even then, I'm not sure it will work. How many intellect points do you have, Bagger? Uh, one, two, and the one. Yes. Uh, my intellect is fine, and the matter is clear. We'll lure the princess out with cracked sails and kill then kidnap her. How do we then do that? Uh, I think I need something to uh, to lure her out. Yeah. But how? We need a flower or something. Search the bucket for the Baron's message. Rampaging around the discarded poems, you find a sheet of paper with the Baron's handwriting. I'm writing from the Castile. Soon I'll win the Tumandil. It will come through my three meal about the elven Quineal. The warm will fill my. Turn the page over. I doubt the elves will read any further. Yes, it's terrible. On the reverse side, the Boron has written detailed information in his small handwriting. An undercross passage leads out of the castle to the underground river flowing around the dungeon underground lake. The underground passage is guarded by a group of dragons, which should be no problem for you. What? 
They say the smugglers used the underground lake to hide their goods, so I hope you can find it. You know, Bucker, you just have to talk to the locals. Someone m must know where the entrance to the dungeon is located. Uh, okay, I think the smuggler will be the one. So... Where can I buy some cracked sailcloth? Cracked sailcloth? Do I hear right? Are you trying to play a trick on the insane princess? I can imagine how hilarious that will be. But no, I don't have any cracked sailcloth. Try asking the old Blasco from Portland. There were such rarities in this warehouse, you wouldn't believe half of them existed. I told you. If anyone has cracked sailcloth, a Blasco will be. Do you know anything about a secret entrance to an underground river? A secret entrance to the underground river? I've never heard anything like that. Looking into the smuggling into the aisle, you can tell that he's lying. But there's nothing you can do about it. Well, I can beat him until he tells me the truth? Is that not an option? Normally it is. I could turn him into a werewolf. I can beat the crap out of him and turn him into a werewolf. So, do you know how to get to the underground river? Unfortunately, no one knows for sure. It's rumored that the pirates and smugglers disappear into some rock when their ships are persuaded by elven patrols. But, beggar, no one knows where that rock is or how you can disappear into it. Ah, you're useless. Shouldn't have kept you alive. So, do you know where I can buy some cracked clothes ship, right? I have no idea. Suing puns for the dwarfs isn't my job, you know. You should ask the smugglers. They have all sorts of goods. Uh, wait, no. Um, where is the entrance to the underground river? How do you know about the underground river? It's a very secret place. All right, I won't keep any information from my true friend. If you sail along the shore to the southernmost point of the island, you see a cliff standing in the sea, very close to the steep coast. There is a gap in the rock in the narrow strait between the cliff and the shore. It will lead you to the underground river. Southernmost point of the island. Uh, that is here? I'm not sure. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Underground lake! Correct course. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I'll need a ship. I bet I need a ship. Oh, there it is. I need a ship. Okay. Uh, teleportation uh, portlet. Then we can buy the sails and get ourselves a ship. That's an excellent combination. I totally love that idea. That reminds me the weapon we found. Plus three attack, that is plus four. Plus ten percent astral damage for undead. Hmm. Astral damage. I have no one in my army that can do astral damage, can I? Oh. Cold damage? Physical damage? No. I'm not doing any astral damage. I need light white strong cracked cloth. You need a piece of cloth to blow your nose? I'll find it a scrap and I don't... I do it for free, beggar. We're friends after all. A scrap won't be enough. I'll be using a cloth to make sails. Sails, you're talking nonsense. Who puts cracked sails on ships? I have a bench of even sail cloth. You can make a special offer. I need cracker cloth. Don't you get it? The more time I spend with you, Bugger, the more you surprise me. Each of your rescues is like a joke from the circus. You're going to make everyone laugh their hats off when you sh see your ship with the cracked sails. But what I'm talking about, you're an adult, not some child. I'll sell you some cracked cloth. It will be enough for a small brig. If you can use the rest to make some handkerchiefs. Come on, I'm in a hurry. 50,000! I think I deserve a discount. You're exploiting my kindness. Do you know what? As long as we're friends, right. 40,000. Ah. Oh. Ah. This guy's nuts. This guy's nuts.
cannot believe I'm doing that. <sighs> so. Take this to the captain who can make a ship sails out for it. Refit his ship. Well, where could I find such a captain? Oh, I think in Sandy Island. But first we go to... Where's Gallandrim here? If we're wrong... Well, no, we go to Gallandrim. So, can he make that stuff for us? Um, wait a minute. Rig a ship with cracked sails. Moor the ship with cracked sails into the harbor. Well, first we go for that, for that other thing. Okay, we sail this way. This army is not ideally suited for dragon hunting, I must admit that. This is not a dragon hunting army. They're quite good against any target, but not against dragons, because I'm doing a lot of fire damage, and I'm not very good at... What is that? There is a ship. Okay, why is there a ship? Now that is strange. And there are even elves. Who would believe that? Oh, holy moly. Oh, holy moly! Okay, first of all... Uh, first of all, we need a copy of ourselves. And then, I think we want to let it rain... No, 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 no. Um... What do we do? What do we do? We let it rain on the bunch. Nice. Okay. Um. The question is, whom do we want to tank my jealousy? I think those guys. And then I want 19,000, 13,000. I want to make a copy of you. Good. And then I want to call in reinforcements here. Good. And then I want to throw another fireball at you. Very good. Excellent. I want that chest. Ha ha! Wonderful! Oh. Yeah, that was obvious. But at least he's shooting for no one that I would even care. Interesting damage potential. Okay, round two, and we're ready to go. Good, 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 good. That's all nice and well. Now I want to jump here, and then I want to let it rain on you. Okay, did not work as planned. Let's give them something to play with.
So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice work. Those are dangerous. They must be occupied. And yeah, I totally I totally hate those guys. Okay, I have a lot of rage. I should use that. Shield them up. And just because this... Oh, well, you cannot reuse that. That's sad. You wait. Let's see what the enemy does. Good! Sparkle, sparkle! Okay, I'm still, I'm still good. I'm still good. No problem here. Ah, that was the wrong one. Totally not happy with that decision. Okay, I want a small copy of my pirates. Treasure chest! Excellent choice and 4,000 golds. I'm not complaining. Okay, you rip his heart out. This now could be problematic. We must keep them from firing at all costs. Okay, shields are up, so we should be fine. Get his attention and get him away from that volcano. He will go in the trap for sure. Excellent. If we move a little bit forward, uh, we must kill that guys, I know. They're more important. Oh, that was not nice. Okay, I could necropack the entire team. Yeah, it will hit the Cerberi, but let's be honest. We don't care for that, guys, even a little. Good! Enemy forces are down! Good shot! Uh, this bowman could become a problem. As I see it, they could become a problem. Um, I could level up that for five crystals. That would reduce the cooldown by five, uh, by two. Cooldown actually is seven. Oh boy, seven! Okay, you rip out his heart. Good work. You will wait. New fire. How do I kill 20... Uh, 1473 bowmen? That is simply insane. And you just killed your own volcano. Dumbass. Oh, I have an idea. There is a spell that I was trying to learn a long time ago. I mean, show me the spell that does 5,000 damage. Oh, I forgot I wanted to cast another spell. Holy shit. Now we have a problem. Now we do have a problem indeed, because these guys are numerous. Hmm. But they're going down quite well. Nice. Okay, now I want a little creation. 
Ah, uh, that is the worst place where a che treasure chest could occur. How do I get that chest? Okay, there is only one way to do this. And it will hurt a lot. Eight thousand damage. Just imagine for a second what would happen if I were to take that. So, yeah, no risk. Safe and sound, that's my motto. I could have tried to delay the battle and to get my hands on more chests, but no prisoners. Not a single prisoner. The money is good. The money is good. Yes, yes. Oh boy, that is excellent. And it already ends here, okay. Ah, could have been wonderful, decided not to be. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, let's have a small look. How many leadership do we have? 70,000? 74,000? Can we take this elves down? No. No, no, no. It's not working. Okay, we need control of anyone here. Far from perfect. Okay, half that's good. I could do that to take care of the enemy's holding ability. Done. Then we make a flame of passion on this one because that will keep him from firing. Problem solved. And then we do an orc strike on those. That will not be enough to stop them, but I have another idea to take care of the problem, and that is I want a copy of those guys. You do nothing. You go here and get me a copy there. So that should keep the enemy occupied. Ah, crap. I was so hoping, I was so hoping that he would attack the elves or the pirates. That would have been wonderful. But no luck for Pooh Boris. Okay, you rip out his heart. Good. You go there and rip out his heart. Well, now they're pretty, pretty much, pretty much down. What? Ah. Good. Okay, not my first choice, but I say okay. We could dark cloud them, but that will not be that clever. Uh, well... Not my best move, but who's counting? Good. Wonderful. Oops. And you get me some chests, okay? Aha! Please hit the pirate, please hit the pirate, please hit the pirate. You hate pirates. Whoa! Fine by me as well. Oh, not so fine by me. 
Whew, this could have gone terribly wrong. You get your ass out of here. Can we do a little? Oh, yes, we can. That should do damage and protect us. Because maybe he must go in to fetch a chest or something like that. You do nothing. Yeah, that's the end. That was obvious. Um, can I do anything against... Oh, yes, I can. That should do a great deal of damage. Uh, not as much as I hoped for, but... Yes, take them out. Take them out. Take them out. My hero. One move, and then you double shot them in the back. Oops. Okay. Find me a chest. A very, very bad position for a chest. Okay. He will walk into one trap up. You little scum. Good, they're killing. Oh shit. I always forget about that. Okay, I think we need a little battle cry. So hopefully you are faster than those punks. We're not. We're not. But actually... We can still get out of trouble. Hi, Rika! You get your ass out of here. Um, ten is not enough, so let's do some calm rage. You wait. And he's too far away, I guess. So, you will have to do the job. Sorry. How much is still for the shield? Ooh! This guy knows how to take down a shield. Excellent! At least that worked. Okay, I want you to refill your ability. That will hurt. Oh yes, it does. No treasure chest! Okay, let's let it rain a little bit on the guy. Nice. Can we do an orc strike? Oh, yes, we can. Can we do that? Yes, we can. No fireball? Yes, here is a fireball. Excellent. Problem is, that guy is still active. But he will probably move here. Yeah, that's what I thought. And a treasure chest! Wonderful! Dark Shroud, no idea what that is, but I think it's 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 important and worth a lot of money. So problem now is I cannot fire even if I wanted to. Yikes, now we have a problem. Now we have a problem. We could blind him. You get the hell out of there. And then you fireball him. Oh, please! This pirates and their invasion. Evasion, that's unbelievable. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. What is that? You're not... You're lying to me, right? 
cannot get past there. Okay, let's see what else we can do. That was obviously a dead end. Oh, you can get quite quite far here. But that does not help us. Oh, before we fight that guy, not that we waste any runes, that would be bad. Nope, not operational. Let's look, no, no, could get up tactics, but I really want to have that up, all that up. And for the red runes, costs too much, costs too much, and that is quite useless. So no. <gasps> Ooh, assassins. Assassins, that's very, very bad for business. I hate assassins. Okay, um, I want to have control of you, because you're a ranged fighter. And then, oh well, simply burn them up. Nice, that's a trap right behind him. That will make this funny. And you will just wait. If we're very unlucky, they will howl. But hopefully they will simply attack. Howling would be bad. Howling would be intensely bad. Wonderful. Nice. And no treasure chest. Ugh. Okay, first of all I want an orc shield around you because it's to assume that he must go into battle to fetch chests or something like that. Very nice. Okay, I want to see fireballs here. I want this guy dead. Excellent. I want another fireball on this guy. Extremely good. No, you could kill that one. That would be wonderful. No, that is the wrong target. Totally wrong target, my friend. You do nothing. Okay. That's to be expected. Whoa! That was not nice. Don't howl. Don't howl. Don't howl. Oh, please. Six wolves and they're neutr neutralizing my entire army. How could that be? You get there and get the chest. You get there and out of trouble. Okay, I want a necro pack. Oh yes, I want a necro pack here. Okay, good thing is only one of my guys is uh, frightened, the other shock it off, which is good. You make a step forward and then you fry this guy. Wonderful. He will be going right for me. Nice. Okay, we wait. He will go right for me. I guess. Nice. Especially nice, since now we can get all the money. Okay. 
Okay, uh, we have to go this way because otherwise we would be in real trouble. Hey, that is not good. You go there and get the chest. Excellent. Get away. Do nothing. Get his attention. He will walk right into the trap. Nice. You will search for something. Ugh. Okay, um... Good work! And it's even far enough from me that we will not be hurt. Don't kill that guy, okay? Don't kill them. Damn it, they're a problem. This is not going as planned. Okay, rip out his heart. Take the chest. Not my favorite, but okay. Hits right and true. Hit right and true. You go there and fetch me some money. Yeah, that's okay. Ah, and there he goes down again. It's horrible. And he hates the elementals. Why? They're nice people. Treasure chest! Wonderful! Okay, uh, I think that is finished now. Nice. Perhaps prisoners? No prisoners. I killed an army and I'm not even getting prisoners. It's my luck all over again. You know what I wonder? Why is there no one down here, no one real? I mean no real smuggler or something like that. How am I supposed to get through here? There is no way to that passage. Hmm. Let's get back in the boat. We can sail through here. But we cannot get past that. Wait, there is no way to sail further. Can you see the river disappear under the rock? There is no use trying to go there without an underwater ship. Turn the vessel around and roll back to the ship right. We have him to produce an underwater ship for you. An underwater ship? A new boat? You mean a U boat? That's what he's talking about. Well, whatever. I think that was a good episode. We did a lot of killing and we did a lot for the quest. So we'll see each other again next time. Until then, bye!